What's going on guys and welcome back to the video. So today we are wagering this canvas. Bam, put it on the screen right now. Put it on the screen. So when I move into my new apartment, if I lose this game, I have to hang this canvas in my apartment. Yes, this is Jose Batista getting punched in the face by Rugdead Odor. So we are going to be doing a draft and then we're going to play. So we're going to be doing like the full thing in the draft. I'm going to do relatively quick. I might even just fast forward it and let you guys kind of watch it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. If I win, and this video gets 10,000 likes, I will buy the canvas anyways, just because I appreciate you guys. And I, I'm kind of getting into more of the vlogging stuff too. So it's a lot of fun for me. So 10,000 likes, we'll do it anyways, but I'm gonna go try and prevent this as much as I can by getting the W. Let's go jump in to a battle royale draft. I have been losing like crazy. Do I still have a pulse? I feel like I'm gonna cry. I can't believe that. Well, have you ever seen? Have you? Have you ever seen a better draft in your life? Have you? And then we get Bartolo. And then we get a common Bartolo. Oh my gosh, and we got Devin Travis too, no way. My fa all my favorite players in one draft. If I lose this game, I got issues, okay? Our second, our, all the gold rounds went fast. I'm gonna sim the rest of this draft after this, like this will be the only time you see me talking, just because I wanted to focus on the gameplay. Uh, but I just gotta decide, do I take a picture here? I feel like I take Steve Ciszek, but I also could make my hitting just kinda crazy, but I gotta go with Steve Ciszek, because he's a good reliever. I'm gonna go ahead and sim the rest of the draft. I will see all of you guys, you lovely people in the gameplay and when we create our lineup. Okay, so this is the lineup that I have. I have Jose Batista, Kyle Schwarber, Ken Griffey, Devin Travis, Didi Gregoris, Mike Moustakis, Chris Colabello, and then John Ryan Murphy, my catcher. I didn't realize that I didn't draft a good catcher at all, so I'm gonna regret that a little bit, but we have an amazing hitting team. We also have a good bullpen with two guys who I know can pitch, so hopefully my starter can get me through the first inning and then I can just leave the game to them. My hitting view's all messed because of my setup, which is driving me crazy. I'm gonna try and fix it a little bit right now. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the gameplay. Okay, so my setup, like I said before, is less than ideal currently. It's not great. I can barely see the TV. It's so tiny, but I'm glad I finally moved it up onto a little bit of like a little bit of like a pedestal. I don't, I don't know if that's the right word for it, but something just to loft the TV up a little bit so I can actually see it. Because before it was like completely like eye level to the point where like I could not judge low pitches at all just because of where the TV was at. So now where I have it, I should be able to see a little bit better and therefore hit a little bit better. And I'm hoping that we can make some ridiculous things happen with Jose Batista. I really, really am hoping this because this is like his draft. This is his theme draft, nice play pitcher. And like I said right at the beginning, I want my common pitcher to be able to get me through the whole first inning. I'm going to try and push him through it. Even if we get into a little bit of trouble, I'm going to try really, really try hard to get him through this first inning. We are playing a bronze guy. Uh, he is a bronze 86. I'm not even sure what that means. I think that means that he's almost a silver, but like, it is what it is. I can't choose who I get to play, and so I just go out here and I try and ball out. That's all we can do. That is all that we can do in these videos. Let's go two seam outside. Two seam on that outside part of the plate. Can we hit our spot? Nice. Sit down. Sit down, my friend. Batista. Batista. I just made that sound awkward. I just really, really butchered his name. Okay, 2-2 two, two count here to Jose. I'm going to be selective. I'm going to make him pitch to me, but if he throws it down the middle, it's going out of the park. I'm telling you that right now. If he throws it down the middle, I'm going to try and hit it a mile. Let's see what he does here. Boom. There we go. Base hit. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't realize they had the shift on. 
much damage. I did not realize that they had the shift on either, because usually a base hit that hard through the middle, that's like, oh, hit every single time. If you hit it that hard through the middle, nope. That time, right to that guy, Kyle Schwarber, against a common pitcher. This should be a pretty good matchup for me. He got me with that high fastball right off the bat. Let's hope he brings it down a little bit, and then I can crush it. Nope, right to... Wow. Absolutely. Tough start for the boys. Tough start for the boys. But now we get to use the dream card. 99, Ken Griffey Jr. I've always wanted to use him, especially against a righty. So hopefully I can do something crazy with him. If I, like, strike out, I quit. If I strike out with Griffey, I think that's when you just, you gotta tie up, hang up the cleats, and go home. Because you're terrible. Oh, wow, I hit that a mile. I hit that a mile, but it is just a little bit foul. 0-2 count here to Griffey. I'm in a tough spot now. He can pretty much pitch this wherever he wants. Wow. Does that mean I have to quit? Does that mean I have to quit forever? I think it should. I really do think it should. I don't think I should be allowed to play. Like, MLB The Show should just stop working if you strike out with 99 10 Griffey Jr. It should just literally just stop. And you're just left here to blank screen it, and then you can't even take the game back to GameStop because it's completely ruined. That's what should happen when uh, you strike out with a card that is that good. I am embarrassed. I'm sorry that I, you guys... Have, the part about it is, when I used to play video games, like when I was just like, just before I was a YouTuber, if I did terrible... I was the only one who knew. Now if I do terrible, there's just a lot of people find out. So it's a little bit embarrassing when things like that happen. Okay, 3-1 count here. I'm going to try and work a slider in on his hands. There we go, nice pitch. That's good location. Now he's going to be a little antsy, so hopefully a change up low. There we go, good stuff. Sit down, buddy. And I need lots of strikeouts because I can't hit. I need lots of strikeouts because I am in a major hitting slump lately. Hit in the air out to Where's that going? Where's that going? Is that over his head? Therefore, it is wow. Just wow. I thought that might have gotten over his head, but it sucks because you hit a ball that hard, and when they catch it like that, you get nothing out of the deal. You get absolutely nothing out of the deal. When you hit it that hard and they catch it like that, let's move up Travis because I don't think he's going to throw me out. I really don't think he's going to throw me out. He's taking his time right now. This is awkward because I just chose to steal and now he's just taking six years. Retreat. Nope. Shoot. Awkward. That was just an awkward hit. I didn't know if that was... And I didn't know how to base run. I didn't know how to do that situation because I wasn't sure what base running was going to work in that given situation. Colabello, that's it. Pretty nice, though. That's it, pretty nice. That's right to the left fielder. There is going to be two out, and I need to find a way to bring Devin Travis home. John Ryan Murphy, I'm going to have to go catcher this the rest of the game because this is too big of a spot. This is honestly too big of a spot to not, like, go for it here. I have to go for it. And it makes me mad that I didn't draft more than one catcher, and the catcher that I did draft is terrible. But, like, it is what it is. I can't do anything about it now. But that's when it pays off. That is when it pays off. He took a kind of a bad read to that. Oh, I'm out. I'm out if I go. Dang it, man. Dang it. Because I, mm, I'm so 50-50 on if I should have went there. I'm so 50-50 on it. Because I feel like if I go in that situation, it could be bad. I just don't know. I feel like I made the wrong decision. Okay, who's the best sitter? I'm going to go Jose Reyes here. Hopefully Jose Reyes can go drive in some runs. We've done lots of hits this game. Base is loaded. Just don't get out, Jose. All, I'm just telling you right now. Reyes, do not get out. This is pulled in and you right. did your job. No! Right? How am I hitting the ball so hard, yet right two people? And I maybe should have risked that. I maybe should have. But if I would have went home on that last one and gotten thrown out and lost the game because of it, I would have felt even worse. So, like, I think I did make the right decision. The issue we have now is the fact we don't have a catcher. We don't have a catcher, so things are going to be... He can't catch, literally. So when you watch me have this guy in, you're going to understand why I was a little bit tentative to take out John Ryan Murphy. Oh, he caught that one. But, like, it could end up costing me because if he gets a runner on base, he can run wherever he wants because he knows, and I know he knows, that I don't have a catcher in. See? That's a strikeout. 
That's a strikeout turned base hit because of the fact that I made that huge mistake. Do I have anyone who can do it a little bit better on the bench? See? See what I mean, guys? I, I ruined my own game there. I should have just left him in. and I thought I was going to score a run and be great for me, but in the end, it's just going to completely bite me. It is just going to completely bite me what happened and I'm almost and sick about it because if that's how I lose this if that's how I lose I have an issue I I have some serious issues and this is swung on and miss though he will need to do nothing I can do we strike him out if I were him I'd be trying to strike out right now because that's the best way that's literally the best way to score runs at this point is if he strikes out and this sucks this really, really sucks what's going on right now. I'll never do it again. I promise I will never do this again. Now that I know what happens, because I've struck him out every time. I've literally gotten strikeouts every single time. And I only have one out and he scored a run and he still has a runner on base. And that's with me striking him out, which is why I hate this situation. Okay, go one. Go one, take the out. No, that's going to be a little bit late. And they get the run. Dang it, that makes it 2 nothing now. I'm going to have to buy this Odor thing because of John Ryan Murphy. John Ryan Murphy is going to be the reason. And mostly because I'm not very smart. For the majority because of the fact I'm not very smart. But do you really think this is fair? That in this game, if you have it like this, that that happens? Like, do you really think that that is 100% fair? Like, to me... I think it should be a little bit more, even if you have like if you make that mistake. But it costs. It's a game changer. It's a complete game changer. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get an out. I honestly don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get an out. And then he gets a hit there. Oh my god! Point. My best bet is just pitch to contact. Pitch so he hits it. That's literally what I'm gonna do because nothing else is gonna work. Like. Go in. Go in, Jose. Down by four, I would need an absolute miracle in this last day. Down by five. So I'm going to have to order the canvas. Is immediately after this, I'm going to have to order the canvas. So I think we can all expect that. Um, it was all completely my fault. My stupid, stupid mistake. That's what these videos are about. It's about making mistakes. It's all for entertainment. It's all for fun anyways. I got to run back with that swing. But... Or not. Or no, I thought that was gone for sure. I legit thought that was gone for sure because I hit that well. I hit that really, really well. I don't feel like this guy completely earned it. Like, I feel like he would say the same thing. Like, I, I hit the ball hard every single time. But right to these dudes. I'm glad I get one more at bat with this 99 Ken Griffey Jr. That's kind of hype. That's pretty cool and see what I can do with Griffey. But overall, guys. It is what it is. I lost. At least we get to see me open up the Batista thing. Like, it really is no big deal. There we go. There we go, Griff. He's probably going to catch it, though. Yeah, your warning track. Right on the warning track. Oh, my gosh. My frustration levels are higher than they've ever been in my entire life. But thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. I'm going to go quickly check out the order thing. Uh, if it works, then I can order it to where I am right now. But it's just the fact that where I live right now is like if I order it, I'll have to ship it again to where I'm going to be. So I got to see how big it is. If it is to the point where I'm, I might have to wait two weeks, in which case you won't see me after this. If I did do my research and find that out, uh, I might have to wait two weeks before until I go to like school or until I order it. So it will be there when I get to school is what I'm trying to say. God bless you guys. Have an absolutely awesome day. And I will see you guys next time.